My name is Deshaun Isaac. I'm a student here at Columbus State Community College. And um, I'm gonna read a little bit from um, Upton Sinclair's The Jungle. And it's, a sur it's about the end of the book, but I'm picking out this part here because it interests me. Uh, so spoke an orator upon the platform, and 2,000 pairs of eyes were fixed upon him, 2,000 voices cheering every sentence. This man had been the head of the city's relief bureau in the stockyard until the sight of misery and corruption made him sick. He was young, hungry looking, full of fire. He swung his long arms and beat up the crowds. To Jurgis, he seemed the very spirit of revolution. Organize, organize, organize. That was his cry. He was afraid of this tremendous vote, which his party had not expect and which it had not earned. These men are not socialists, he cried. They do not know what socialism is. They voted because they wished to protest and there was no other way to do it, but they are ready to learn if you are ready to teach them. This election will pass, the excitement will die and people will forget about it. And if you forget about it too, if you sink back and rest upon your oars, we shall lose this vote and we, we have polled today and our enemies will laugh to scorn us. It rests with you to take your resolution and take it now in the flush of victory and stand by it. To find these men who voted for us and bring them to our meetings, to give them our literature and organize them and bind, and bind them to us. We shall not find all our campaigns to be easy as this one and you must not be discouraged if the tide recedes. Everywhere in the country, old party politicians are studying this vote and setting their sails by it. Nowhere will they be quicker or more cunning than here in our own city. 50,000 socialist votes in Chicago means a municipal-owned democracy in the spring. And they will fool the voters once more. They will pull the biggest vote in history, and all the powers and plunder and corruption will be swept into office on, that, on the tide. But whatever they may do, they will. They, when they get in, one thing they will not do, and that will be the thing for which they were elected. They will not give the people our city municipal owners. They will not mean to do it, but they will try to do it, but they will not try to do it. What they will do is give our party in Chicago the greatest opportunity to ever come to socialism in America. We have, we shall have the shame reformers self-suffified and self-convicted. We have the radical democracy left without a lie, which, which can cover its negative, nakedness. We shall have our people without a party, which can even promise to carry out its will. And then we'll begin the rush that will never be checked, the tide that will never turn until it has reached its flood. And that will be irresistible, overwhelming, and the rallying, and the rallying of outraged worker men in Chicago and the standard of revolution, and we shall organize them, we shall drill them, and we shall marshal them for victory. We shall bear down for all opposition. We shall drive everything before us, and Chicago will be ours. Chicago will be ours. Chicago will be ours. All of which at one o'clock in the morning of the day after the election, and at one o'clock in the afternoon of the same day, Jurgis was handcuffed to a detective and on his way to serve a two-year sentence in the state prison for assault with intent to kill.